So today we are recording this awesome Jeep owned by my friend Jesse that I met through Pastor Dane. And you guys have seen his Jeep on the B Canyon video where I broke down. So let's go ahead and get into it. This thing has some awesome stuff. So let me show you around. So we got this awesome Jeep. It is lifted. It has some big wheels. But first, we're going to have to get into the small details. We got our friend Jesse here. So what year is this Jeep? It's an 04, 04 WJ. With the V8, right? It's a V8 4.7. Yeah, and this thing, it does have the V8, but it also has the 242 transfer case, which, as you guys know, that's what people usually do for these. How many miles are on it, though? I got it with 170. Right now, we're at 174, more or less. I only put 4,000 miles on it so far. But a lot of off-roading with this thing. Yeah, the, the only times you've driven is actually off-roading. Exactly. So. It yeah. stays pretty much in front of my house until it's time to go off-roading. And when it's off-road time, Oh, she gets she's going. ready to go. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's all set up in the rear right now for camping. Let's go ahead and get into the lift. So right now he does have a six inch iron rock lift kit and he also has some Heim joint steering as well as the aluminum tie rod. So this thing is beefy. It's it doesn't have a stabilizer and he drives it on the freeway. No problem, right? Dude, I could go hit 90 miles per hour. And that's when you start hearing like the tires more. So it's the tires because they're 35 inch Patagonias. Yeah, love them. They're great. But kind of loud the patagonias patagonias yeah. do i love them dude they're good and you also have some icon wheels that look really well they're like that bronze color with the white just dude, they, it hits they, man they fit man they fit the car perfectly those are actually good wheels to have so you can actually air down when you go off-roading and not only that he does have the six inch lift but he is front and rear long arms as well as the awesome part which is dana 44's front and rear off of a jk so this thing is meant to handle some off-roading especially out here and you can't see the mountains but there's there's mountains back there trust me he does have some armor as well we got some rock sliders we got front and rear bumpers the front has a winch and he does have the radiator support down here as well everyone asks questions where do you get those where do you get those so i got them on ebay yeah i want to say he's out of mexico he's out of mexico he got it yeah, actually yeah. that's where there, I, yeah there go, yep. man. that's yeah. where they're made so you can actually pick these up on ebay yeah. and you actually choose what you wanted to say yeah. so i chose jeep four by four and the other side says grand cherokee up here i have wj they also make the ones that have uh, your top. If you the want, top like, the, light bar. Oh, yeah. Light bar, yeah. You want that. I got it without it because my plan was to get a roof rack that has the lights built. Already in. so, into it. Yeah. If you, if you guys want to pick them up too, I'll have them linked down below because I know I always get questions about that. There you go. This is what I like about this Jeep. And I'm pretty sure there's other Jeeps that have it. But you have the rear bumper. And underneath the rear bumper, you actually have an air compressor. Oh, I do. So it's ready to go. Ready to air up whenever you need to. Just push the button right here. Yeah, and, and it starts up. And go. Yep. And I got my uh, little hose down here. Yeah, that way you could connect to it. My full hose is inside that, you know, gets all four of my tires. And we also do have the HK, the spare tire carrier. Oh, yeah. Which is beefy. And we have something like this, you obviously cannot see behind you because it blocks everything. everything. But you do have a camera, which is awesome. It shows the whole rear view. And I just want to show you guys real quick. This Jeep is set up to go off-roading any day of the of the week. So he has solar panels and all that good stuff in here. So I got four inflatable yeah. beds. I got uh, four uh, sleeping bags, a five-man tent, extra compressors. I have the Jackery system. Yeah. He said solar panels, portable toilets. So it's all the good set. Stuff. Yeah. If you know, if you got to get out of town this is what you want yeah and the inside the leather interior super nice super clean we got the massive radio screen this is what a 10 inch screen 10.5 inch yep 10.5 inch screen cb radio with a pa system pedal adjustment white gauges those, all the good stuff man you even got the jeep floor mats damn Dude, on, you're now. set up Th that's why i got this duck <laughs> <laughs> that's why i got duck so this is what i wanted to show you with the hk off-road wolf box i guess you got this on amazon or ebay yeah that was yeah. an amazon buy and this right here looks yeah. legit i love it when it turns on because it gives you a little animation the jeep yeah the jeep logo but that is what that is what helps you see behind you when you're driving the jeep and then you got the whole radio yep actually croc wjk has that as well so you guys can check out that video oh yeah, yeah. he's actually the one who showed me he showed so you that yeah yeah he also did get the leather replacement for the front here the front, yeah. yes that's sir so clean. that's why it looks yeah. good and you have a switch panel down here for all your stuff oh huh? my goodies yeah, yeah the air good. rock lights bumper lights front and rear lockers sheesh yeah. just set up dude yeah, believe me they really come in handy especially <laughs> when going up some of the crazy terrain yes sure, sure. and we go under here under the hood like i said we have the v8 with the k n filter optima battery oh and then he does have the windshield washer relocation <laughs> <Which laughs> you need that way? This is a kitchen modification. It's a Tupperware. It's Tupperware. Tupperware. It's fine though. It, it works. works. It works. And that's works. what matters. Yeah. So yeah, this is uh, 
It's been running great, no problems, and you love it, right? The power of the V8. The power of the V8. I get the, the inline six is great, but when it comes to power, yeah. the V8, it's for sure by far supersedes. It's the, yeah, the, way better than the six, especially with the bigger wheels. You need oh, yeah. to, yeah. And I wanted to let you guys know that we actually recorded this video what like a year ago, dude. We did, and the audio was messed up, so we never uploaded it. But we're back. I love this thing. If you guys want to get a WJ, do it. You guys are, won't it, regret man. it, man. They're, They're awesome. It. Yeah. These are great off-roading. They keep up with them. With most 4x4s out there, even with the 2-inch lift and 31s, you'll be happy with it. You will, for sure. And this is what, what it looks like when you're driving one of these. So you have the rear view mirror constantly going. You got the radio that says Jeep on there. Or the front. <laughs> or the front. Oh, yeah. Front, front and rear. Right. Yeah, so this thing is legit. It actually drives really nice, really comfortable. So... Compared to my Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing I did forget to mention, the axles are front and rear truss. So this thing is strong. The axles hopefully won't break off-roading. They haven't yet. They actually did really well when we went off-roading. You were the one that pulled me out actually, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Poor guy. Yeah, he pulled I me out. So he helped me out. So shout out to you, man. I appreciate you showing us the Jeep. I'm pretty sure people are going to like it. So. Let me know what you guys liked about this Jeep down below in the comment section. Leave a like and we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.